As Bengaluru reels under the limelight of being amongst the most dynamic cities in the world, we pay a humble ode to the man behind it all, Kempe Gowda. If you have been to the garden city of Bengaluru, you would have surely heard the name. From the international airport to the arterial bus terminus to the newly flagged metro stations. But the story traces its way back to the 14th century. A party of travellers, led by Rana Bayre Gowda, consisting of seven farmers with their families, fled persecution and arrived at the foothills of Ramaswami Betta, to the east of Nandidurga Road. Spurred by a dream, they formed a village in Ahuti, currently known as Avati. They soon split and took over seven different areas in and around, and one of them established himself at Yelahanka. This was Jaya Gowda who became the Lord of Yelahanka. Decades went by, and one day the descendant of Jaya Gowda, the Lord of Yelahanka, Kempe Gowda, went westward with his minister to hunt and arrived near a village called Shivana Samudra, near Hesaragatta. While relaxing under a tree, he conceived the idea of building a suitable city, which would be his future capital. And thus was born the idea of Bengaluru. He obtained the necessary imperial permission from the Vijayanagara Emperor, Achyuta Devaraya, and built the Bangalore Fort and founded the Shivanasamudra country in 1537 AD, which would later be named Bengaluru. On an auspicious moment handpicked by an astrologer, Kempe Gawada harnessed the bullocks to the plows at the central Doddapete Square, which lies in Chikpet, and plowed the ground and worked the four main streets running in four distinct directions. One ran from Halasur Gate to Sundakopa Road from east to west, and another from Yelahanka Gate to the Bengaluru Fort running from north to south. He planned lakes and tanks across the landscape to provide a rich water supply. He planned many temples around which residential layouts were planned. Kempe Gowda also built four towers near Mekri Circle, Hanumanthnagar, Lalbagh and Alsur Lake. These towers were built in four different directions and it was Kempe Gowda who envisioned the city to be within these four towers. Centuries have gone by and the towers still stand strong, honouring the founder Kempe Gowda. But the city of Bengaluru has grown far beyond his vision with millions of people calling it home. It is a huge IT and cultural hub. And from its humble beginnings, come a long way to bring one of the most dynamic cities in the world.